here's a water pump. This is a 100% Azen Toyota, genuine Toyota part. Um, parts like this you can get off of, um, I got this off the trip to HQ, um, match shot to Duarte and Adam LZ um, for having such amazing parts available whenever you need it. Uh, my boys over there on the west coast, check them out if you need parts like this. And I also came with your gaskets and all rings. I'm gonna show you how to assemble the water pump. It comes into three pieces. Very important that you know what you're doing. So with that said, let's go ahead down, uh, smash that subscribe button. Also give it a thumbs up and then hit that notification bell. The most important one is the notification bell. Select all. I wanna get you the part number for the water pump. Uh, very important that you get this. This is also this can also be used for the 2JZ as well um, Hopefully you can see it This is the part number For the water pump. This is a genuine Toyota Lexus part number and um, Use it. This is very good All right now we're back to where we left off the water pump comes with several O-rings and also a gasket for the, uh, whoops, also a gasket for the hose that go to the back of the motor and also to the heater core that is inside the car. And um, it goes right here. It is a metal gasket. It can be reused even though they sent me a brand new one. Uh, I will use the new one. Break right there and uh, it is a 12 millimeter bolt that you use I mean socket that you use to tighten down on this all right two turns two turns it's very important that you do this right here because if you get if you have turbo headers t4 turbo headers like what I have it will be very hard for you to do that with the headers in the way so it's very good for you to go ahead and mount it right here right now okay not too tight because it 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 has a um, it it already has the um, the gasket for the thermostat see give it hand tight and you notice where I'm holding here on the ratchet I'm not holding on the edge, I'm holding right here, which is close, so I can't torque it down too much. All right. So now we have the gooseneck, upper gooseneck on the water pump. Remember I said, it comes into three parts, very important. It comes with seals already, O-ring gaskets, very good. You need to lube it up. Lube it up first. Also this section as well so it's gonna go and slide in so say you're looking at the motor from the left to right so this is going to go like this this is going to okay let's see here it's gonna face it just like this so this is going to go to the block this is connected to the block so it's gonna slip right in just like this make sure you just wiggle it so you can see, let me show you. Right there. Slide right in. Beautiful, Beautiful indeed. Uh, so this here is your oil pump pressure regulator. All right, a lot of people don't know this, but you can pull it. I loosened it up earlier. Pull it. All right, there you go. That spring. There is a wash, a O ring in the middle, right here. It always goes bad. It is recommended that you go ahead and change that O ring because it is also 50% of the time why it's leaking oil from the front of the engine. 50% of the time. So always change this O ring right here. I have a whole lot of O rings. I'm going to change it out. 
since I'm in the front of the car, this is what I will do. All right, let me put this back. I don't want to get anything in here. Also, yes, the seals. I change this. Um, another one is coming in. Apparently, I uh, unevenly put it in. And um, when it's like this, let me put you closer. When it's like this, it's gonna leak from the top. So I gotta pull it back out again. Here we have our timing set for the gear, for the cams. I have these separated because I don't wanna get them all mingled up together. In order to pull the VVT um, pulley off, you have to pull this cap off. All right, pull in, pulling this cap off and there is a hex nut that is inside of there, a hex bolt. Also, you gotta pull that and then it slides right off. Make sure you get the timing right on this. Also, if you didn't know, it has an O-ring as well inside here. It's very good for you to change this out as well. Um, it's not leaking, so I'm not gonna fuck with it. I am thinking about getting an upgraded cam sprocket um, same color of the car just to match it um, hopefully my, 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 my peeps over at uh, Drift HQ can give me a hookup on that one as well um, here you are with your timing belt cover this is what was under let's see the um, Crank pulley made a real, real mess of this one. Started to burn the shit out of it, really, really and truly it started burning it. I can't put this back on. I cannot. So far, these are all my parts. My fan clutch, it's in the uh, stuck position. I don't like that, I don't like that. Of course, you know, guys, this is the part number for my HKS timing belt. It's right here. And also, the belt tensioner, and also the spring for the tensioner. Um, I know my friend told me not to use this belt because it's too rigid, very, very rigid. Um, my man, brother, I know, I don't want to call your name on it. I don't want to, I don't want to waste this belt. I had this laying on the side for a long time. I got to use it, dude. Here's a brand new bolt I have for the crank pulley. I'm not going to put back on the stock pulley, guys. I'm going to put on the fluid damper that I have that I always wanted to put on. This is what I'll be doing. Oh, by the way, guys, listen. I went ahead and I did the big brake upgrade on my car. I have the camera in my hand, so please bear with me. So this is now the twin turbo Supra big brake that is on the front of my beautiful, beautiful pepper. Of course, you know, this is my Precision Turbo 6667. Um, it has a 0 0.90 on the back housing. And, um, and it spools up after, after 2800 RPM. But that's good, because I don't want to have boost whenever I'm driving normal. But here's the all the, here's all the crazy stuff that I have to deal with right now. So this is O-ring right here. You got to change this. That's why it's very good to pull it. Um, I'm going to show you the original water pump. My beautiful peeps. The original water pump has plastic impellers. You can see all right, most of our the cars that you let me put it in here. 
most of the cards that you guys probably know and grown up with and known to love have the hole to show you whenever the water pump is going it's usually on the top our beautiful one jz has it on the bottom and a hose is connected to it and it drains right down where it can be noticed immediately toyota has it real good built 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 comes with a high quality gasket as i can see and this is what i got with my other one as well no Permatex um, silicon needed to be put on with these and um, but I'm gonna put it anyway but the bearing still good it's just that the rubber gasket on the inside is bad rubber plastic impellers this it blows my mind Nice and clean. Cover your alternator. You don't want it to get wet with coolant. Very good thing to do. Cover your alternator. So the hose is about here, this long. I'm going to slide the hose between the alternator. And here, let's put this wire up first because we need to have this wire up. This is for the sensor, the crank sensor. And we're gonna get the bottom one as well. Huh? Speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead right now and order some Titan. Um, Four piece aluminum billet pulley sets from Drift HQ. Not too tight, guys, because you don't want to strip the, the threads into the block. Um, let me go ahead and get my my uh, pork wrench. Put on the torque. Now that's seated properly on there, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the alternator. As I said before, I'm going to slide this in nicely. Oh, there it goes. So easy. Oh, Lord. I wish I knew this before. Always use OEM, baby. Always. It is worth it.
coming in nicely. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. There we go. All right, beautiful people. We have our headers. We got two tubes covered up with some high temp DIE. And um, this will sort of help with the heat dispersion. It will not affect this back end of the turbo. And um, also I put steel braided lines here as well. So now I'm gonna button up all of these I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one so you guys can see it right now. Um, I'm waiting for some parts to come in the mail. Not here yet. So, I will conclude this video. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We really need your support, guys. Please hit that subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell for all the new videos coming from the Dazzle Performance Garage. All right, guys. And as always, I'm leaning sideways over the car. And uh, peace, love, and happiness. Mr. Gaza bugging out. Look at my neck bright. I get that check right. I'm so blessed, right? Off of that jet pipe. Off of that side. Off of that new coupe. Got a bin fire. I said what I said, right? Yeah. I get that check right. I'm so blessed, right? Off of that jet pipe. Off of that. I'm in that new